Does your XT3 keep going back to restart? There is nothing more frustrating than being in the middle of the shoot and your whole camera resets itself. After scouring the internet for hours and not finding a solution, I figured I would create this video for anybody else who is struggling with their XT3 right now and wondering why it keeps going back to the factory default settings. I went to several different stores trying to figure out what was the problem with this camera. A lot of people just said, you can send your camera off, get it serviced, but we can't guarantee that when you get your camera back that they will actually find the problem, especially if it's not happening all the time. The closest I came to diagnosing this problem was when I was in Dusseldorf at Photocoke. They not only updated the firmware in this camera, but they also told me it probably had something to do with the battery. They suggested that I buy a new battery and that I only use a Fuji battery with the camera and perhaps that has something to do with it. Unfortunately, I tried this and that also didn't help. But as it turns out, there is a solution for this. It wasn't until I was on a recent trip with my friends that the problem happened yet again. And my dear friend, thank you very much, Daria, told me that she had seen somewhere that this is a problem with the X-T3, that it comes from actually not turning your camera off properly before you take the battery out. Let's take a look. All you have to do is switch your camera to the off position before you remove the battery. If you do this, the camera will not reset. However, if you leave the camera in the on position when you try to replace the battery, the camera will automatically reset back to the factory settings. So before you spend lots of money trying to service your camera or buy a new battery or even buy a whole new camera altogether, Try this little solution and let me know if it works for you. Also, as far as I know, I've only tested this on the X-T3. I'm not sure if this is also a problem across other Fuji models, but if you have experienced something similar, please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Happy shooting.